Hot drop, hot drops. Back at it again. You'll want to stay tuned to the end of this episode. I think you might like it. Enjoy. Hot drop in. What's up, guys? Hot drops, first person. Let's go find some kills. It's been a little while since I've played, so I might be a little bit rusty. But we've got this sweet new patch, sweet new gun called the Mini 14. Absolutely disgusting. Beast of a weapon. Even sounds nasty when you shoot it. I love it. Got a nice uh, 13 kill win with that weapon on the test server. As soon as the patch hit the test server, I just jumped in. It was just lovely. It's a lovely piece of equipment. New favorite weapon in the game, hands down. It's a lot more powerful than an assault rifle. At least it feels like it. Very little recoil. Really easy to tap. It's a nice like mid-range, close range. Um, single fire assault rifle slash sniper rifle. It's really, really nice. So that's my goal. This, this game, we're going to look for that weapon and then try to get some first person kills. Scope. When two X's are too few, and eight X's are too many, reach for four X. Not really a hot drop per se, but it was the quickest drop that I could see after I exited the plane. So it's uh it's kind of up in the air as far as uh, the warmth of the drop. We'll see. See how this goes. That's my catchphrase. You've heard it. You love it. Thompson. Another fun thing to note. Thompson is now no longer a care package only weapon. You can actually find it in the world. It's a pretty sweet gun. Uh, my the big thing I don't like about it is it can't take any attachments, but I do love the look of it. Just that classic Thompson stick mag. It's that gun that all of us have played, uh, played video games using this gun and World War II games like Call of Duty and Medal of Honor. It's got a special place in, I think, every gamer's heart. I'm going to swap out my shotgun in exchange for the AK, throw the 4X on it. One of the things I noticed recently about playing on the test server, and I haven't actually played with the AK on the live yet, but one of the things I mentioned, or one of the things I noticed, was that the recoil was definitely adjusted for the AK. I had a 4x on it during a recent game, and it was just kicking so hard out of my hands. Like the vertical recoil was just nutty with that. So I think they might have nerfed it. I don't know if it got reset back, but we're gonna find out this game. We're going to see how the AK feels with the 4X on it. Another fun thing to note, which... Oh, I don't actually want that. I don't have my shotgun anymore. I don't need that. Well, I'll keep the 9mm. Uh, another thing to note is that in the patch, and it's still live right now, and I think they probably will eventually get rid of it, but they actually... Um, I say actually about a million times. They enabled post-processing and they forced it to be on for everyone. Uh, forced it to be on high, and it's really annoying because you see my gun, it looks all like foggy, looks sort of blurred out. That's post -proce that is post-processing. There's really no need for it, it's just a visual eye candy thing. And it actually hurts your FPS. I've noticed my performance has definitely gone down on my 1080. Oh. She is the mini. Got a quick drop bag on it. It doesn't take any vertical grips, which is annoying. But it really doesn't even need a vertical grip because it has so little recoil. It's so nice. 
and the bullet travel is just so fast. I don't think I mentioned this, but when you shoot this thing, the bullet flies so fast, so you don't have to lead in front of people too much when they're running, say, across your screen from left to right. You can just put the crosshair just slightly in front of them, and the bullet just travels so fast. And it feels so good. Twenty rounds is enough uh, in the standard mag, but thirty to have. Uh, if you have an extended mag, it gets up to thirty. So nice, so nice to get those extra ten rounds. But with this gun, I just I feel so accurate with it. It just feels really, really good. I will pick the mini over any other weapon, hands down. I'll take this thing to the end. Until I have a really bad game with it and swear at it and never pick it up again. But until that point, I will continue using this gun and loving it. It's kind of deceiving because it's so small, it looks kind of dinky, but this gun is powerful. I think it deals about 44 damage per hit to unarmored targets, which is pretty nuts. Um, I think the AK and the... The AK is a little bit higher than the other weapons, but I think the assault rifle is somewhere around 36 damage. So this puts it in the uh, sniper rifle territory. But I don't even call it a sniper rifle. I wouldn't really call this a sniper rifle. This is like a... It's sort of like a battle rifle... Uh, DMR, designated marksman rifle. Single fire only, you can't switch it. It's always on single. I think anything other than a 4X, like anything higher than a 4X, would just not be a good choice for this gun. I think I've done really good work with it with a red dot and a 4X and a 2X. 2X is like the sweet spot, I would say. And of course, I have very limited experience playing with this weapon, but from what I've seen so far, it's a really, really good medium range assault rifle. That just happens to take sniper rifle attachments. So there is someone around here. I saw some doors open. They didn't hit this house though, so it looks like they're probably working their way down the hill to the northeast, east northeast. That door's open. Just gonna sneak a peek. going wide so I get a nice vantage point and also putting myself in a spot where people wouldn't expect me to be. Positioning is of course king. Oh man, I hit a vector. Ooh, this is a tough, this is a tough choice. Let me see, what do I have for ammo? 75-45. I am gonna grab the vector. I have a compensator for it and attachments already for it. The reason being is that I don't need an AK when I have this weapon. Oh, and a flash hider for this thing. That's awesome. I also only have a single backpack. Meaning a level 1 backpack. So it's having, uh, I'm having a hard time carrying all this stuff, but I'm feeling really good with this loadout right now. I'll just grab the extra hollow in case I need to switch out. Do like the red dot better. It's much smaller. You see that how big that is on the gun? That's crazy. That's so stupid. That's wrong. They need to fix that. Looks so much better with the red dot. And I actually like the red dot more. So I just need a SMG mag for this thing. Extended. Or uh, extend quick draw ideally. And then we'll have a nice little loadout. Nice short range, nice long range. This is one of my ideal loadouts, probably. I'm going to switch to it and put it on full auto, because if I walk into any of these houses and someone is in front of me, I'm not going to want that 4X out. Now I need a better, better backpack. I don't have space. I probably have enough 45, but I can drop some of this stuff. I can drop that 9mm. I can even drop the 7.62. This thing chews through ammo, and I want a lot in reserve. Still being aware of my surroundings here. I don't have an AR, I don't need that. 
But yeah, there was definitely a guy here, so I need to be aware, but the gas is moving in at this point. Or the, the electric field, the blue, if you will, whatever you want to call it. So I think it's time to probably head out. Right after I check for more meds. That's the one thing I need. Or an SMG. Suppressor or extended mag. You can see my blue bar is creeping up on my running man, so I got a piece real fast. Time to go. Time to find a vehicle. And where are we going? Not too far. That's good. It's like a nice central safe zone. Just gonna head that way. And of course, peeking in here before I leave. Can't see if I jump. So most people, if they were in this area where I am now, were probably running to the safe zone. So I need to be aware of behind me. People were looting in these houses, they're running alongside me probably to get out, so. Just need to pay attention to that. And you can see that blue line is coming up real fast on my mini-map. Nice central play zone uh, in circle likely means that there's going to be a lot of people alive for a long time. It feels like to me that the play zones that are sort of on the edges of the map are the games where people die really quick. And this, you just look up and it's like, oh, 30 left? How is that possible? It's crazy. Some games are just like that. I'm not really concerned about the gas. Two first aids, much bandages. I would like some boosts, some energy drinks, and painkillers, but okay where I'm at now. And of course, more ammo for the mini. This has already been checked. Hmm, interesting. Almost to the safe zone. I'm gonna take a leak. Take a leak. I'm gonna just take a leak right here behind this tree. Uh, I was just meant to say I'm gonna take a look behind me. See if there's anyone, but I don't see anyone. 39 alive. See, this might be actually one of those games. I haven't been alive that long, and it feels like it's way too early to have this many people dead. Sometimes it's just how it goes. Luckily, I've got a safe zone right next to me, so I don't really have to run too far. definite disadvantage that I have no boosts. I'm just going to pop inside the safe zone and work my way up to those houses. Riding along the edge of the gas. Electric field, sorry. Hopefully find some painkillers or something up there to get myself back up to 100. I am damaged now. What I'll do is use some bandages once I get into a safe area. Some of these houses are inside the safe zone, so that's a good sign. But the problem is, if anyone's here, I'm probably screwed because I'm at low health and the doors are already open, which really sucks. But I will take this opportunity to heal up. Pop a bandage or two, get myself back up to 75. I really need some more 556. 30 is not going to cut it. This is really a bummer that there's no loot left here. I always mistake that little box for someone. Could definitely be people camping out at these houses. I think what I need to do is just find someone, kill them, and take their their uh, boost and stuff. <laughs> okay, that's scary. But I'm safe, so I'm gonna bandage up. He's right near me. Hopefully, he doesn't throw a grenade in here. That would be bad. Just 
staying quiet, trying to listen. Another thing that I need to practice, and something that is a good tip, is when you're running around, when you're looting, just when you're playing in first person, keeping your crosshair at head level at all times. If I'm sitting here and I'm watching the door, but I'm, I'm down here, like it takes so long to get your crosshair back up to where he is and then shoot. You're much better off always having your crosshair where you expect people to be. And this is a huge tip uh, coming from like Counter-Strike. So when you know the angles of certain hallways or choke points, places where you expect people to be, just have your crosshair ready at that point at head level. There's no reason to be over here looking at this but your eyes are actually over here because it takes so long, like I said, uh, dead, when you can just tap and already be there. So I've lost sight and visual, or lost the sound of this guy. I don't know where he is. There he is. Oh, I love the sound of this gun. I think he just put his weapon away to heal because I saw the barrel like pop up. Shots, get some better ground. He's right behind this tree, right? I don't think he went further than that. Oh no, he did. Oh man, oh. that was my own fault. Totally my own fault. What I should have done, what I should have done is put the red dot on it. I couldn't find him in the scope. That was weak. That was weak. Next game. You know what? That sucked. Let's just do some highlights instead. Is that the church now? It's inside the wall, so you can't hit him. What's the oh. crosshair of the crossbow? If they fit inside the <coughs> thing, if is what? If they fit inside the whole thing, yeah. they're within 100 yards. If they fit inside the bottom third, it's 200 yards, and then you use the bottom third dot to aim to the top of their head. Okay, so I always use the top of the dot, basically? Oh, dot. I got him! No way. Yeah. We got that shit on tape. There he is. Two of them moving up. You see him? I'm coming. I'm coming. I don't see him, but I'm coming to you. That was nutty. Nutty, I say. There he is. <laughs> Dead. I don't even know what happened. I mean, I got a silenced got pistol. <laughs> Dude. Oh, you almost made it. I didn't have a chance. I was really low on health. Yeah. <clears throat> He's coming. Behind. There. Nice. Got him. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Oh, look out. Oh, it's a smoke. I hate when they do that shit. Fuck it, going in. Knocked one up. At the stairway. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Could be anywhere. I think he might be upstairs, but I'm not totally. Oh, over here. Got him. Damn, dude. Ooh, he missed me. You are fucking crazy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go fuck him up. Got him. Are you still are you south now? Or is that you just at south? Could be me. I'm not sure. Did you get both or just one? One. And he just walked into me and I shot the second one, so we're good. Cool.
Damn. Big power plant. Oh, here he is, left. Yeah. Find the tree. Uh, 165. Yep. Yeah. Get out of the way. <laughs> Down. Downed her. At the tree. You just finish her, yeah. See that flash? Didn't see it, no. A side. Uh, where about? The same tree. Same tree. Hanging out at the left, not really shifting. Oh, I, they died. The person that I shot died. Car Vehicle coming? coming up. Knocked one. Killed. Dead. Still one left out of the tree. I do not have a visual on the tree. Nope. Make sure we don't get flanked. Oh, there he is, far. Uh, 165. Yep. Down a little, little bit. bit. Trench coat? Did you see the guy? Does that look like sound like the right guy? Yeah. This guy's a trench. Still at the tree. Hit him twice. Oh, there's another guy. I'm down. Damn it, he's still there. He's at 195. Yep, I see him. Guess you can get to me. No, he's still 195 left side of the tree. If you come to me, you got a line on him. There. Oh. Knocked down one. Down. Killed. Got him both. Okay. That was nice, dude. Whew. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Get out. Yep. Knocked one at the buggy. I was Ooh. in the car the whole time, apparently. <laughs> I have seven kills. Don't know how that worked. So I'm behind us. <coughs> yep. Behind us to uh, 60. <coughs> I gotta get up this hill. There we go. Okay, I think I'm safe for right now. Where? Uh, they're northeast, 3060. Tree? They're pretty far. They're at a buggy way down there. Oh, knocked one out. I'm gonna push them up because I see where their car is. If we can get down there and kill them, we can take their car. Remember? Uh, northeast for me. They're behind rocks. Oh, I see the buggy. Yeah, they're to the left of the buggy. We're gonna have to fight him in the blue. Knock him out again. Okay. Dead. Both? Yep. Nine kills. Whew. You're killing it, man. We gotta get out of this yeah, gas. Yeah, we gotta get this buggy and get out. You can Alright, grab way. the buggy. I'm gonna run. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there's, there's people, people here. in there. Fuck. Of course there is. You're good. You can't heal again. I'm listening to see if they. Weasel in. behind you.
Oh shit. You're fucked. Go. 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 Get him. There we go. That's nice. Come on. Dude, you almost had that Damn. guy. One more hit. I'm worried about this guy. Okay. The fighting that was happening behind me. That guy. He's still there. Go. He was just knocked out. Did you though. get him? Yeah, I killed him, but he's got a buddy. You gotta get more in the grass. <clears throat> Shit, see him. I don't see him. Okay. Did you get him? Yep. Yeah. Fucking grass, though. Three more, man. Three more. He's still there, though. That's okay. You can just get to the circle. Oh, I can't see. Grass. Watch out, because there's probably a dude behind you still. Yep. I hear my heartbeat in my ears right now. Yeah, it's, this is intense. You gotta head toward the circle. It's not gonna get any closer to you, so you might as well move. This is bad. How's there three Excuse other people? He's probably... It's probably in well, there. the one guy's probably right in behind there. Yep. But you. Oh yeah. Let them finish it off. Two more. And one of those guys you know is behind there. One guy's probably behind you. Unless they're a team, and they're both there. Are you looking behind you at all? Ugh. You gotta get to that circle. That guy's behind you, man. He's in here. He's right here. Oh, there's just a little lag. Okay. Yeah. He's. I think he's uh right to the right of that building right there, or that shed. Gotta get in. Dude, you're fucking killing it. <laughs> he's got this cover, though, and he probably can third-person me. Yeah, but you've, he's coming into the blue and you're in the circle. Dude. Can't see. Move. Go, go, go. Oh! oh my god, I couldn't freaking hit him. Oh my god, I thought I was choking. I was missing every shot. I was like, oh my god, I'm choking. Oh my god, I'm choking. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Dude. Stay tuned, boys and girls, because episode 13 of the podcast is coming this week. Until then, I'll see you in game.